we're gonna be talking about purpose, right? So here's why you are not walking in your purpose. So I don't like to confine purpose to just one thing. We have lots of things that we're meant to do on this earth. We have lots of things that we're meant to experience on this earth on both an individual level and a collective level. So us as a whole, right? So unified consciousness. The best way to tap into your purpose is aligning with the source of who you are right? So soul alignment. We're humans and also we are souls, right? So our divine nature is soul. And we have these human bodies, which is our avatars that we're using to navigate this world. Your soul consciously created this path for you. They created the path that was going to give you the most growth, right? Going to give you the most fulfillment. So this path that was strategically structured for you was created by your soul prior to entering on this planet. Pay attention to the signs, right, from the soul so that we can align back with that path. The first thing that I'm gonna talk about is vibrational alignment. It's super important that we raise our vibration because our souls are vibrating on a very high vibration, right? So when you think energetically, so there's many things that we can do to get an alignment. And I always um, like to suggest that people go into solitude, right? Because in this world of noise, there's so much information out here. There's so many people, there's so many um, things and sources telling us what to do, right? And telling us how to live. So it's super important for us to go into solitude so we can actually have that intimate time with our soul, right? So when you're in solitude, you use that time intentionally to channel in information from the source. So starting from that crown chakra, you receive downloads from the source. So just really putting that time aside to spend time in solitude is going to help you channel in higher vibrational information. And as you work on yourself as well, it helps you to reach a higher vibration. Your soul is unconditional love. Work with that heart energy, clearing up that heart space, operating from that higher vibration of love, mentally working on yourself, physically working on yourself. So it's all alignment so mind body spirit it's important to understand as well when your soul consciously creates this path there are other souls that you have soul contracts with right so you have individuals that you've had an agreement before you've come to this earth that you know you're going to spend x amount of time with me on this journey to teach me a lesson that's going to grow me in a specific area in my life anytime somebody comes into your life, its intention is to help grow you in some way, right? So it's it's a good thing to look at life that way instead of seeing life as something that's beating you down and people beating you down and, you know, life is working against you. Everything is conspiring to work for you at the end of the day. Another reason why some of us are not pushing into our purpose is because we are closed off in our comfort zone. So when you get so accustomed to experiencing life from one lens, you have tunnel vision of what life should look like when you allow society to define that for you. And when you think about your soul, very expansive, very boundless, it's not meant to be confined to a box. Your mind is not supposed to be confined, right? It's meant is created for expansion, raising of consciousness. I like to suggest that people Find inspiration by exposing yourself to different people, different environments, right? Because if you stay around the same people, same environments, you're going to end up on the same cycle, right? And that hamster wheel that you're going to be spinning on, the work hamster wheel or whatever hamster wheel you're on is going to keep on repeating until you find inspiration and start exposing yourself to broader things. And this is how we get stuck in unfulfilling work, right? We get stuck in unfulfilling roles is because we're not super tapped into what our soul came here to do, right? So your soul wants you to go this way, but you're going this way because society is telling you to, right? So it's a misalignment right there. Put yourself out there, get out of the comfort zone, Put yourself in situations where you can develop new experiences, meet new people. You never know what souls can help you push into the next level, right? So we're all here to service each other. 
in some way, shape, or form, right? So exposing yourself to that new vibration of energy, the new vibration of activities is going to help you with alignment along the journey. Super important that we become creators of our own path because each of our souls is super unique, right? So when I think about soul, your soul, it's like you have a unique divine blueprint and we each have our own unique blueprint. That's why no other soul on this earth can replicate, you know, how you do things, how you think, how you behave, how you, you know, contribute to this earth, right? There may be souls on similar paths as you, but there's not going to be another soul on this earth that can do it quite like you, right? So keep that in mind. And that is your superpower. And all of us have this superpower, right? And we have gifts and talents that the world needs, right? So it's super important to understand that we have this embedded in us. You don't want to allow others to push you down a path that's not in alignment with what's true to you and true to your heart, right? Because a lot of us, we have parents that wanna push us into careers or push us down roads that they followed or parents try to vicariously live through us as children, right? But when your heart is not in it and it doesn't feel good, it's not in alignment. So you're doing nothing to align with your purpose, right? It's not fulfilling you. So you're following the footsteps of someone else instead of creating your own. When we're on the path of discovering our gifts, our talents, so whatever contribution we're here to make on this earth, if your heart's not in it, it's not going to have longevity, right? If it's not powered by the heart, it's not going to fall in alignment with your purpose. Once you really get informed on who you are on a soul level, it just opens so much of your consciousness right and it opens you to so many different opportunities along your journey some of us are so attached to the ego and that holds us back from aligning with the soul so the ego is considered our false self right so this is our false sense of self society is responsible for really pushing this narrative of the ego so the ego really prioritizes you know personal gain power control serving self so when you're in this energy of self-service it pushes you out of alignment with source right it pushes you out of that unified consciousness right so you're separating yourself from source and that is complete opposite of what your soul is right so when you think about soul it's service to others right so a rotation of cycle and service to others so that's how we were intended to experience life right and if you don't know yourself on a soul level you're going to continue to let allow your decisions to be led by the ego your actions and your experience right so it's super important that you balance that out and get to know yourself on a deeper level than what society tells you you are who are you on a more broad scale what is your contribution to this earth what do you want your legacy to be how will you service others right so looking at a broader picture for yourself and really going down that path of self-discovery is going to allow you to get more acquainted with the soul we are very powerful sources of energy very divine sources of energy think godlike right and when you think of god's power you think of unlimited right you think of expansive you think of you know just the most powerful source of energy and another way that you may be blocking yourself off from manifesting your purpose is when you have the mindset that you're here on this earth to do nothing right when you don't feel like you have a purpose when you convince yourself that your life is meaningless right so you can't align with your purpose if your mindset is on such a low vibration your soul is on a high vibration and you have to align with that by pushing yourself into a higher vibration as well it's not common for people to just you know wake up tomorrow and know what you're meant to do on this earth right so it takes time and sometimes we go through certain cycles right to teach us and align us on our path so we have to be patient and i call this the preparation period right so this period of preparation is going to prepare you to take on you know this big purpose that you're meant to do on this earth so you have to get yourself in 
a state of grace. That's super important if you are wanting to align with your purpose. Sometimes you're in the cycle of aligning with your purpose because you don't see it right now, you think it doesn't exist. You have to give yourself grace and patience as your path is developing. Super important to get yourself in a good mindset. Another way to help you get on your path to purpose is to ask for help. There's many sources out there that can provide you with help and clarity along your path. Conversations with God, right? Creator, source, okay? That's one way you can do it. Also, working with angelic energies, right? So I personally worked with the archangels. Working with that angelic energy, I would say just from my personal experience, has been very beneficial and very, very enlightening for me. Some people do like to ask for help from their spirit guides. Some people work with ancestors, but whatever you feel most comfortable um, asking for help from, they can really help you along your journey. So, you know, don't be afraid to utilize them along your journey to help you get on your path to purpose. So make sure that you're being present and paying attention to the signs. Spiritual energy is always trying to communicate with us in some way. The earth is trying to communicate with us in some way. We have um, communication through something we call in the spiritual community synchronicities, right? So through numbers, through animals. So really just paying attention to the signs is really going to help lead you down the right path, right? So you have to allow yourself to be present and pay attention to those signs that are being presented to you. It's important to pay attention to dreams as well because your subconscious mind, it has really strong connections to your soul. So sometimes your soul will try to communicate with you through your subconscious mind. So when you are dreaming sometimes, you wanna pay attention and write down your dreams because that could be a way of your soul sending you messages or your higher self sending you messages, right? Your angels could be sending you messages. So really just focusing on your dreams, right? When that subconscious activity is really working, and it really helps to guide you as well. I'll talk a little bit about my journey because I had a mentor of mine once tell me that you know your story was not meant for you. It was meant for you to share with others and influence them along their journeys, right? And I had to really let that resonate with me, right? So it took me a while to really start you know, sharing my story with others. And once I started, I start to see how impactful it is to others and just forming that connection with others and being able to become a light for others and help guide them as well has been, you know, just a blessing. So definitely for those who are on the path to purpose, if you found your purpose and you've went through hell and back to get to your purpose, it's super important that you do share that wisdom, share that knowledge with others because you never know who you're gonna be helping along the way. A little bit of background about me, I did a few videos on this as well. My ex-husband was a narcissist and I've been, I experienced eight years of emotional abuse, spent, you know, just being with him. So it put me through years of, you know, sadness, disappointment, anger, frustration. Ultimately, when I embarked on this spiritual journey, I broke off from that relationship and really pushed into a higher energy of getting to know myself on both an individual and a soul level, right? And at first I did question my path a lot, right? I was questioning, why is this happening to me? And I was questioning God. I'm like, I'm a good person. I deserve to have a good life, right? I was like, I deserve to have the husband, the kids and all this, right? The first thing I had to reflect on was society told me this is what a good life should be, right? So having the husband, the wife, this or that. And I really had to check my ego at that point. When I was questioning God about, you know, my life, why is it falling into shambles? And, you know, why am I going through these experiences? And I felt like God was telling me, you know, along this path, you're going to feel discomfort. You're going to feel, you know, some pain, but all of this pressure that I'm putting you through is going to mold you into who you're meant to be, right? So who I desire for you to be. That was something that had to sink in with me. 
I really had to define my own definition of what a good life was. So now my definition of a good life is structured around, you know, what I got out of this experience, right? So just having happiness, being able to, you know, create this state of peace, love, experiencing, you know, just the highest vibrations aligning with purpose, right? So really defining my own definition of what a good life is, is my good life, right? So the life that I was experiencing prior was not that, right? It was not in alignment with this version of me. When you're going through seasons of pressure, when you're going through, you know, cycles of turmoil, then you just feel like everything is spiraling out just know that you know in the background everything is conspiring to work out in your favor because it pushed me into a space of really getting to know myself on a deeper level and i feel like as individuals a lot of us need to go down that path of self-discovery because a lot of people don't even know basic things you don't know like what you like what you dislike you don't know what makes you feel fulfilled you don't know like a lot of basic stuff because you've never sat down with yourself to discover that. So it's super important that we do allow ourselves to discover who we are. I will see you guys in the next live. All right, y'all have a wonderful day in the world. Bye.